So here's my completed storyboard. I'll show you what it looks like so far. So it's about a cat who goes on an adventure and he's trying to steal from a treasure chest and easily gets distracted because, you know, he's a cat. He gets hurt by the spikes, opens up the chest and there's a giant butterfly inside the chest. He freaks out, falls on the spikes, and it's game over. So here's uh, my process with going through uh, creating storyboards. First, I'll go into the vertical view which is this button up here. And I'll take a brush and I'll actually draw in this size. So drawing at this size helps me to not pay attention to detail. It's called thumbnailing. So it helps me to just think about the composition and draw poses so they read clearly. So yeah, I'll first do the thumbnail stage. And then after that's done, we'll go through and we'll clean up all the drawings and we'll get them more on model. So this saves us a lot of time down the line if we focus on getting the model correct during this stage. We want to make sure that all of our key poses look like the character. So that way when we're doing in-betweens and breakdowns, we can reference the key drawings rather than going back to the model sheet back and forth. It just saves us a lot of time if we put the work up front and make sure everything looks correct from the get-go. So the window you're seeing on the left here is an application. It can be free. They ask for a donation. It's an amazing program. It's called Pure Ref, P-U-R-E-R-E-F. It's a super useful program, especially if you have only one monitor like I do. So I'm using it to keep track of my character model and going through all my thumbnails and making sure he's on model throughout the animation. And then once we get it all on model, we're going to import this project into Harmony. So this whole process of doing the storyboards, the thumbnails, and doing the on-model cleanup can all be done in Harmony. I'm using Storyboard Pro, but you can absolutely just do all of this in Harmony. I like Storyboard Pro just because it helps you organize and time out your animatic before you actually get started. But all of this can be done in Harmony just by itself as well. So I finished my animatic and I put my character on model throughout my whole animatic and I'm ready to export it into Toon Boom Harmony. So how do I do that? Well, the way it works is with each new scene, Storyboard Pro will create a new project file for each one of those scenes. So for example, this is scene one, my title, scene two, scene three, and etc. So let's export all of these scenes into Toon Boom. And when it exports, it'll all be the same timing. It'll have the same camera moves. It's really nice. It's a nice way to organize your project. So we're going to go up to File, Export, to Toon Boom. And since I want to export my entire animatic, I don't really need to mess with any of these settings. I just select that I want to export the entire project as it is and make sure it matches the version number of Toon Boom Harmony that I'm using. And I'll click Export. So now you see it's created a separate scene file for each one of these scenes. The reason there's a 1A here is just because I added a black fade in as a separate scene. With a dissolve, we don't really need that. So we're going to delete that because we'll be putting that into Toon Boom Harmony itself. So each one of these folders represents a scene in my animation, and it's timed according to the animatic that we created. It's a super useful way to organize your files, and because they're all in separate scenes, it's a nice way to keep your scenes from getting too big or too bloated. Even if I wasn't using Storyboard Pro, I would still save each shot or each scene into its own Toon Boom Harmony project file. It just keeps things less bogged down rather than to have your entire animation in one file. And in a lot of productions, it's really important to separate each scene so you can pass it off to another animator if you need to. So now that these are all exported, I'm going to go in and just do a little bit of cleanup. It adds some extra keyframes and some extra drawings. I'm just going to go through and clean them up, get rid of any unneeded information in there, and then we'll start onto our rough animation.